Once again, welcome to NTV at One. A select committee has started investigating the alleged illegal disposal and repossession of properties belonging to Asians who were forced out of Uganda in the 1970s during former President Idi Amin's regime. The hearing started with officials from the Departed Asian Properties Custody Board led by the Executive Secretary, George William Bizimu. And because also these certificates are only supposed to be signed by the Honorable Minister of Finance, mm. you do not even delegate signature. So when you see a Minister of State mm. signing it, that one is also problematic. Mm. You ask yourself, how come this property has not been signed by the Minister now, of Finance? Now, in the case of Namuambula, now take us through, in the case of Namuambula, mm. who did... Uh... So, sorry, Mama. But is he still living? Yeah, he's alive. But I can't mention his name. Can anyone of uh, you help us to mention that name? Wait. Because those and members, this committee, the reason why this committee is here is to unveil those untouchables who thinks they can use wherever they are to take government resources. That's the reason we are here, not to get stories. Can any member on that particular Honourable Chair, property? Honourable Chair, uh, we take this committee with uh, the highest team that it deserves. Thank you. Because we know that uh, we can't do otherwise unless we are uh, Honourable members, uh, in confidence, we are requesting that we shall cooperate with you. Honorary members, we have the information. Honorary members, just uh, Executive Secretary, I don't want to, take, to, to jump and take us where we don't want to go. Do you know that person? According, oh, to, according to the file, yes. I checked because I'm, I will, I'm, yes. I'm the one handling it. Yes. This was done by Honorable March. Honorable or much. Clark not. Then there's also that one. another property, the uh -huh. opposite uh, post office. Mm. That one by Sudir. Mm -hmm. Half plot mm -hmm. is a uh, custom board. Mm -hmm. Half he bought it because the repossessor sold mm -hmm. to him. Uh, but, but when he was uh, titling, he titled the whole. Who gave, uh, who gave him the authority to title all? That was Kampala State Council, and uh, the minister then was much were there by then. Honorable Omach. Then we have uh, Chair, uh, the Honorable Omach still alive, or is he dead also? He's still alive. Then okay. we have uh, Honorable no, members. No, no. So, uh, Honorable who? We have another incident of Plot 7, mm -hmm. Downton Road. Plot 7, Downton Road. Road. That is who? Uh, that is Mamitaz. Uh, According to the file, uh, this is a property which had two people. Who and who? Uh, Sugrubai and Abbas. Uh. Abbas Warji. Uh. Abbas Warji never applied for compensation, neither did he apply for repossession. Okay. 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 Mamitaz, we shall proceed with that. I'm still with my um, uh, Excuse me. I don't want, I want, no, wait a bit. I want to know whether this is true. Excuse me. Where are you? Please, hold on. Where are you arrested in one of the few either months or weeks that we are trying to smuggle some, do some custodian documents, files out of uh, your offices? Yes, I was arrested. But can I, uh, can I explain? Take us through why yeah. we are arrested. What happened is that there's a property. Plot 16 North Road Mbale. Plot? Plot 16 North Road Mbale. Yes. This property had many people in it. One of them being somebody called Aji. Aji Bulafo. Aji? Aji Bulafo. Aji Bulafo. Now this Aji Bulafo has been in that 